Doolies and dine bars. <laughs> Doolies and dine bars. Doolies and dine bars. Oh. Doolies and dine bars. Yep. Can you all see that now? Oh, turning out to be a really fine evening, I think. Hello, two people. <laughs> Hello, Gary. <laughs> How you doing, me old Sunny Jim? Colin? Nice little stinger there, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't expecting that one, mate, I'll tell you. Really wasn't expecting that. A bit of a shock when I pulled that in. It goes, it started coming up the shoreline now. Well, what the hell's going on here? There it is. And I'm absolutely soaking wet as well. <laughs> All my jeans are wet on the inside. <laughs> Because it tried coming back up the shore, so I had to rescue it. Righty, I don't know, eh? Uh, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy this year, you know? I am I'm pretty, pretty much happy. I've got the stinger now. Wasn't expecting it, but hey-ho. I'll take that, you know? <laughs> I'll have to change the bait in a minute, because I've got a bit of uh, macky-backy out there. Just straight macky out there at the moment, so uh, we'll soon see. You can all see my rods okay, can't you? Well, my rod okay, can't you? Or lift it up a bit more. Yeah, Gary, I've been having back problems lately, mate. So, just best just to stick with one rod for now. <coughs> I don't want to overdo it on my back, otherwise, otherwise, you know what I mean? I was going to pull my back out left, right, and centre. So. There is a little bit of weed here. That's that looked like lightning over the back there then. I hope it ain't lightning. <laughs> I'll be packing up. <laughs> oh well. That was over Hayland way anyway. But nowhere near me, the wind's going in a completely the opposite direction, but uh, yeah, there you go. No, I was, I was, Gary, I was absolutely, I was absolutely shocked on that, on that um, stingway. To be honest, I really wasn't trying for it, you know. I just stuck out a bit of two-hook flapper with a bit of rag on and hope for a couple of little squilly basses or some bream or something. But um, no, a bit of a shock horror on that one. Yeah, I've got a bit of weed on that now, I can see it. So I'll have to bring that in in a minute and uh, put your two at the back of my Alright Simon, how you doing mate? <coughs> I've got a couple of other people fishing along Eastley Beach at the moment. One about half a mile away from me to uh, my left and probably half a mile to my right. So I'm the only one that sort of like plonked myself right in the middle. Have I had anything? <laughs> yeah, I have mate. It isn't at all blank. Um, check on one of my earlier posts before I stream, mate. Stingray. <laughs> Only little baby, but you know what I mean? I, I'm happy with that. <coughs> Obviously, you know, I'd like to have caught it on stream, but wasn't to be. Maybe next time, eh? Maybe next time. Hang on.
Oh, got myself all dark, never mind. Sorry guys, I'm back now. Just had to uh, change the bait over. See if I missed anything. <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed to bits. I'm chuffed to bits, mate, Simon. Absolutely chuffed on that one. Uh, right, Mark. And the rest of everyone. Lawrence and Paul Castle. Now, before I come on stream there, uh, Mark, I had a, had a little stingray, so um, absolutely chuffed to bits. Hmm, okay, all right, Pete, no worries, mate. I'm having no problems this end. Yeah, I was just, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not having no problems this end, so... Um, it might be just your own pee. Oh. Oh. You see my rods okay? You see my rod okay, can't you? You right, babe? <coughs> <laughs> Paid off coming out the night, didn't it? Didn't it, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely paid off coming out tonight. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't going to come out tonight, you know. <laughs> I was all, you know, even the missus was arm and an hour and about it. I was arm and an hour and this and that and this and that and singing and dinging. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> Kids have got to sleep now, yeah? My jeans are a bit wet, babe, because um, I, 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 I wet my pants when I saw the stingray. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> no, I got, got, got a bit of wet because the uh, stingray turns, turned itself over in the uh, little surf. So I, as I went to pick, pick him back up again and turn him back over, uh, a wave caught me and the inside of my leg got a bit wet and uh, yeah, I'm wet. Not good. I'm wet, <laughs> but you know what? I don't. I don't really. I, you know, I don't really care to be honest. I'm happy. I caught a little stingray, so chuffed the bits with that. I don't need to try. I don't need to try again this year, do I? I'll try again next year for a bigger one. <laughs> it, it isn't cleared up, Simon. It's uh It's a bit breezy down here still. I thought it was supposed to ease, ease off a little bit, but it seems to have stayed that, stayed how it, how it, blah, 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 I'll get my words out in a minute, won't I? Yeah! Seems to have stayed how it is for the last hour, but I'm hoping it's going to die down to about 15 mile an hour, because it's about, I'd say about 22 at the moment. <laughs> 10 pound. Just over ten pound, Gary. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, it's going to be bigger next year, mate. I'll tell you. <coughs> I've got Mackie strips for me. I've got a bit rag, and I've got some crab. So uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. You like right, Steve?
Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll come and show you how to fish. Did I, what do you mean by check the stingray? Oh yeah, they're handling a nice big cod, Gary. No worries, mate. Oh, my head torch is going a bit low on this one. <laughs> now I'll have to come up and show them Norfolk boys how to uh, fish, won't I? <laughs> all them Norfolk, all, all them Norfolk boys, you know what I mean? <laughs> How far are you down Eastney Beach? I'll fish a little further up from the blocks and the wall and had an eight pound bass out. Oh, nice one, Kenny, nice one. No, I'm right down the other end, mate. <coughs> My usual spot along Eastney Beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm on my, my, my usual spot along Eastney Beach. It's no, it's no brainer to be quite honest. You know what I mean? Absolutely no brainer whatsoever. If you don't know where I'll fish along Eastney Beach, then uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <coughs> no, uh, taller end, yeah, that's right, taller end, mate. <laughs> ah, just stab myself with the. Is it worth putting a peeler on yet? What's the time, guys? Quarter past nine. Yeah, I think it's worth putting a bit of peeler out now, isn't it? <coughs> Most definitely worth. I'll put my. I'll have to put my. I have to put my torch on in a minute onto the rods because I can't. I'm hard. Hardly bearing to see in this uh, in this light. Obviously, you can see it because uh, the phone um, brightens it up a little bit more for you. But um, I'm going to have to put me me uh, tripod torch on in a minute. <coughs> <coughs> Just get a bit of peeler ready. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you are Florence. No worries, mate. I'd probably say that that stingray was probably about, I don't know. I should have weighed it, to be honest. I'd probably say it was about four pound, just under or just over, I reckon. One of the two. But bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to stick my uh, tripod torch on because I can't see a little... <laughs> I'll buy you some candy from the shop down here, Simon, all right? <laughs> what do you want? What candy do you want?
Oh, sorry I'm back guys. What have I missed? Uh, Darren Dixon's watching. <laughs> you are Darren. <laughs> I'm probably not going to catch another one, Darren. <laughs> Be the only one I get this year, mate. <laughs> This red, red, really made up and ready, eh? <laughs> nah. Oh, bit of a shock horror that one was, Darren. I'll tell you, absolutely shocked on that one. Didn't expect that. You know what I mean? But I'll take that. Hey, hey, at least it didn't take me four years. <laughs> Bless him. I've got two I've got two faffer out there at the moment. I just thought about that. I'll have to bring that in in, a, in about five minutes. Because uh, I'll have to change the bait over. Oh, stab myself with the hook. What's the weather like down that way then, Rich? <laughs> yeah, that's the only, it's the only fish I've had so far there, uh, Darren. And no, mate, I'm down by the swimming baths. No brainer, really, is it? That's where all the rays are. <laughs> Getting this one really baited up, ready to go. We'll stick out a bit of peeler now and see what happens, you know. It's... <laughs> bit of peeler and a bit of rag mixed up and um, see what happens with that. You never know, I might get another one, might get a nice uh I might get a nice nice double ray. Might get a nice double house. You never know, do you? You never know what's gonna happen. <coughs> but no, there's a couple of other. Say, there's a couple of other people fishing down here. Probably about half, uh, half a mile away from me. One down by the uh, coffee cup there and another one down by the uh, radar station. So I'll plop myself right in the middle. And that's where I am. Oh, I missed that. What's that? Lord, I thought I was there last night. Not a fish and baits are coming back untouched even after an hour. <laughs> uh, cheers Darren. 
I really wasn't expecting to uh, actually catch anything tonight, you know what I mean? Because uh, it's a bit blowy and uh, there's a bit of colour in the water and there's a bit of seaweed as well. Not much, but... <laughs> you know, but, um, you know I'll, I'll take that fish any day, any day of the week, any day of the year to be honest. I said it'd be the only one that I've, I'll catch. Not even a crab. Wow. That is a shocker. Normally there would have been a crab around. I would have thought there would have been a crab around or something. Oh dear, Rich. <laughs> I'm sure it'll sort itself out, mate. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, trying to get these on, it's like... There we go. There we go, guys, that's what's going out next. A bit of rag and a bit of peeler. Yeah, yum yum. I'll probably be, I'll be live for, for a couple of hours down, so uh, I expect I'll still be here. If not, I'll be on the way home. <laughs> Singing. Stingray! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah, Danny, I had, I had a stingray before um, I come on live. Um, it's the only thing I've had so far. Um, not a bite yet. I think the fish are all gone camera shy now. But you never know, high tides, I think high tides half 10 quarter to 11 I think it is. Something silly like that. So there's still hope yet. My camera looks blurry, doesn't it? Oh, I don't want to wash it. As long as you can still see it, it's fine. I should have wiped my camera lens over first, shouldn't I? Anyway, on that note, I need a cup, actually. Do I change bait now, or should I have a cup of tea? Actually, if I change bait now, because that bait's been out there a good 20, 15, 20 minutes now, so what I might do is, is I might... I might change the bait over and then sit down and have a drink. <laughs> right, I'll be back in two, 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 two jiffies of a... Of a milkshake.
Right guys, we're going to have to make this have a quick cup of tea now because uh, I need one and then I should be with you. So I'll get my uh, lovely flask out that my lovely girlfriend brought me today. Because my old one's a little bit knackered. So she went out and bought a six pound B&M flask. Doing quite well. Pull it out with a nice cup of tea. Normally I would have had a couple of cans or something, or you know, you know what I mean, some uh, some go go juice, um, <clears throat> energy drinks, but I don't need that. <laughs> I've got enough energy as it is after catching that stingray. <laughs> right, Dave. Right, James. Uh, just going down and seeing what I've missed. Right, Simon, no worries, mate. Uh, no, I haven't caught on the stream yet, mate, but I've, I've had a little stingray so far. So, um, I know there's, you know, I know there's some fish around. So, it's, uh, just have to, uh, hope and pray. And I'm going to have to change my head torch in a minute because I haven't changed the batteries since coming back from Chesil. And the batteries are dying down in his head torch. So, on that note, I'm going to change my torch. Luckily, I have a spare with me. Oh dear, I hope I don't have to move, because that sounded very close. Oh, that's getting very close. I ain't moving. That water can move, I ain't moving. Mate, we clash. If we clash, we clash. <laughs> oh, that torch is a bit better. So, what have I missed so far? If this water gets closer, guys, I'm going to have to move. So, um, yeah. It's going to be funny moving me a uh, shower, isn't it? Actually, the wind's not too bad now. It's really died right down now, so uh, thankfully. Is it? Yeah, it definitely has died right down. So for you, some of you, the people that have just joined, okay, I'm using trusty old tuat flapper with rag on the size one wormers and a mixture of rag and peeler crab all straight mackerel strips on a pulley panel so that's what rigs I'm using at the moment and that's what baits I'm using Okay, two bright stars in the sky. Which ones are they? <clears throat> we'll have to see about that one, won't we? You know what? I didn't even bring myself anything to eat. All I've got is coffee. Shh. 
should have got a little Mars bar or something from the shop. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> It'll be. Uh, uh. I'm not moving water. That water can move. I'm not moving. What's the time? Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that I might have to move. Just a funny feeling. I think I've set up a little bit too close to the water and it's not even high tide yet, so... We'll soon see, we'll give it another hour. Not another hour, another half hour. And then we'll see what happens. <coughs> Mono. Using mono, mono tonight. I'm not using braid. I'm using mono. The braid's at home at the moment. Oh, Mark, how you doing, mate? That's a big wave coming in. Probably the fairies coming in. What rods and reels am I using? I'm using a. Uh, did I see that right? Two seconds, guys. Let me scroll down a minute. Yeah, Danny, what rods and reels am I using? What rods and reels am I using? Wow. Penn Squadron 450, just shy of 15 foot. Absolutely fantastic rods, absolutely brilliant rods. Can't fault them in any way at all. Um, apart from the ceramic rings, which I'm going to be changing, changing them very, very shortly. In the come, come winter time, I should be changing them. Um, Trouble is, I said that last year and I didn't get round to it, but I'm definitely going to do it this year because I've got the rings in a drawer at home. And. Uh, Pen Surf Blast 7000 reel to go with it as well. But I was at Chesil, uh, Chesil Meet the other week. No, last weekend. Weekend gone. Yeah, I can't even remember. I've been to sleep since then. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Uh, Simon Edwards kindly let me have a go on his multiplier reel, showing me a few little tips, hints and tips. And uh, I think I've swindled my missus to... Uh, buy me a Pen Mag 3 multiplier reel and I'm going to go in the field and start practicing with that and then hopefully swap over to multiplier absolutely lovely love you know lovely reel I was casting with obviously it feels all different because I'm used to I'm used to uh, pick spool But I say, Simon Edwards was showing me a few bits and pieces on it. And I thought I was casting pretty well. We had, you know, we had the brakes on quite, quite good. Had the brakes on fully, so, um, yeah, I thought I did quite, I, th I thought I did quite good. So, uh, yeah, I should, be, I should be getting one. <laughs> I should be getting a Pen Mag 3 and then practicing on that and hopefully start fishing with that.
It ain't broke. I had several different casts. So I, 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 God knows how many casts I had on it, and it only bird nest once, and that was it. Yeah, I looked at the Daiwa. Looked at the Daiwa, Steve, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I like the pens. They look really nice. Day or night what? What do you mean, Pete? Please elaborate on day or night. Yeah, I've been looking at. I've been looking. You know, we we did we did we did look at them. Ca casting them. Not sure I'll move you there, Pete, mate. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. The <laughs> I'm not going to catch anything now, am I? Nah, I'm with you now, Pete. Yeah. No, I should be practicing during during the day in the field. And obviously practicing on the beach as well. So uh, yeah, I could uh, I could make the swap over. <laughs> I'm not going to catch anything now, am I? It's going to be, it's going to be sod's law. <laughs> it really is. It's going to be absolutely sod's law. I'm not going to get anything now. You know what? It don't, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't matter to me. You know. Enjoy going out fishing. You know. And at least I haven't blanked tonight. I spent <laughs> three quid, three quid on rag, three quid, three, yeah, three pat, three quid squids on rag and caught a stingray. <laughs> oh, look, it's Dave. I'm going to start singing. <laughs> oh, not unusual. It's not unusual. <laughs> Nah, Gary, I'm not in the uh, spot where I caught all them uh, hounds, mate. I can assure you that. I'm nowhere near that spot. What's the light on the right? Yeah, that's a star, mate. <coughs> I think that's Mars, isn't it, or something? Is it Mars? I think it was Mars.
Oh, bless you. <laughs> Snickers. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's Mars. It's supposed to be close. Is it this weekend or was it last weekend? It was supposed to be close as it's ever been. One out of the two. I think it was last weekend. Yeah, it was last weekend because we went Chesil, didn't we? And it was really close then. So yeah, it was last weekend. It's amazing my phone can pick up that little that you know that little dot in it. Tell what my jeans are still damp. Oh no, I don't want to move back. No. It's looking like I'm gonna to have to move myself back in a minute, guys, because this water's getting a bit too close for my liking. I did say I'll give it about half hour, but oh come me. Ow, that's my son. Yeah. See them hooks? Yeah? That's what I caught the stingray on. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I couldn't remember if it was this weekend or last weekend. So what do we need now? We've we've had a we've had our spotted ray this year. We've had a thorny. Have we had a thorny? Can't remember if I had a thorny or not. I've had undulates. I need a blonde. Small eye. And then I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll have some orange air out. Love a bit of Snickers. Love a Mars bar. Babe, send a Mars bar down in a taxi. <laughs> I want a Mars bar now. <coughs> yeah, I like the mint one as well. Oh, 
Jeez. Oh, I should be okay. I shouldn't have to move. I reckon I'll be okay. I don't want to move. I'm quite happy and quite comfortable sat here. Oh, look a little bit of lion bar. <laughs> lion bar, love lion bar. Love boosts as well. I used to love Toby Crisp. But then I've gone off them a little bit. I don't know why, I've just gone off them. Yeah. Oh. Bar. That's one that I had for a long time. Picnic bar. Wow. I remember when Snickers used to be called Marathons. And then we joined the EU. <laughs> yeah. I was, you remember that stage where I was just eating Toffee Crisps? And Toffee Crisps and I just went off on them. I just didn't want them. I think I think I just got I think I got fed up with them. Splices? Oh. Don't know. I can't remember that one. Can't remember splices. Toblerone. No, I'm not overly keen on Toblerone. That's one chocolate I'm not overly keen on. <laughs> you right, Craig? What rigs are baked? Uh, I'm swapping over between two rigs, which is uh, two a trusty two up flapper with worms on, rag on. And a pulley panel with uh, crab and Mackey. That's what I'm using at the moment. Oh, I don't know, Gary. I can't remember them, mate. That's before my time. You're showing your age now. Tell you what, I can eat them, not put any weight on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my nose is still peeling. My nose started peeling when I got back. And my forehead. I've got absolutely no idea, Pete. I'm not round that way. I don't fish that part. I lose gear around there, mate. So I don't, I don't generally fish it. Oh yeah, I remember the old salt and vinegar crisps in the blue bags. All the really salted in the blue bags. 
Remember, remember you used to open it and get a little salt packet out of it and then sprinkle it on. I remember them. Give it another five minutes and I'll get a bit of rag out there. Salt and shake. Yep. Ah, you never know, mate. There's nice colour in the water here, put it that way. <coughs> so there's a nice bit of colour here and uh, Nice little tiny bit of breeze to go with it, so it's stirring it right up. Dark chocolate bar. Bounty, I like, I don't like the dark one, I like the other one, the lighter one. Quavers and milk. <laughs> I'll have to stick a whole macrowed out in a minute. See what happens with that. You watch this, I'll come down this beach tomorrow. I'll come down I'll, I'll, I'll come down this beach tomorrow and this this part of the beach will be absolutely jam-packed. Now nah, Gary's round Salzy mate. That's where I get tote from, all brackish from bay. I've not heard a tote come out from this part. Oh yeah, I'll walk the dog tomorrow along along here and uh, we'll see if it's really busy and really packed out. It'll be someone's had a stingray. Quick, listen, get down there. Woohoo! <laughs> Ham and cheese. What do they taste like? Do ham and cheese. <laughs> oh, what an idiot! <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I'm not fishing a lock stock, mate. Not tomorrow. Uh, it's a bit chilly, ch chilly for my dog, Gary.
<laughs> Wind picked up a little bit more. It's going to be funny taking my shatter down in this wind, isn't it, and packing it all away. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be changing this weekend, isn't it? So some parts are supposed to be having uh, really, really strong winds. Supposedly. Whatever the other geezers are caught down down a uh, beach forever from me. Certainly are drawing in. It's been any time for me to hit kick gill kicker around that way. See if I can uh, try and bang a cod. About another half hour, I'm going to be high tide. Yeah, I can never trust it. I can never trust the uh, trust the weather forecast. Oh, that's getting a bit close. Yeah, I might have to move some of my gear back, guys, because uh, this water's getting a bit close. Look. <laughs> Woohoo! It's getting close. So the old stream might get a bit windy in a bit. While I move my shower, I'm hoping you know what I mean. I'm hoping I don't have to move it because I don't really want to move. But if I have to, I'm going to have to. Keep nine at Mark. Right, we're changing baits over. Be back in a minute. Yeah, 
we can cast steer, can't we? Well, will that bait come back untouched? Now nah, we're all right. We should be all right. Oh, that's a bite. Is that a bite? Yeah, little pup. There you go. Only a tiny one. There you go, lads. Which means that if the uh, smaller ones are around, give it about another half hour and the big ones will be around.
to get a bigger bit of rag. <laughs> Right. Oh. Well, oh, it's only a little baby owl now, wasn't it? But I'll tell you what, it'll do. That one'll do. Yeah. Right. Let's get a bit more peeler out, shall we? I was stripping this one off when uh, it was going, so. Hopefully there'll be a bigger one very shortly. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no worries, Dave. You know what, I forgot to bring some rag with me. Miss is gonna kill me. <laughs> so I took my blue t-shirt off what I was wearing. And I chopped, I chopped the arms off. <laughs> Give me a little bit of rag. <laughs> oh, that was a big flash. So <laughs> yeah, my t-shirt sleeveless. <laughs> nah, I'm using putty pedal, Steve. And a, and a trusty tuck flapper <laughs> with rag on. And it looks like my head torch is running out on this one and all. I have to change your batteries on this one. <laughs> I better not have. Yeah, I'll prove it to you. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> Is that another little twinge there or what? I'm trying to get this putty panel ready. I don't know if that was a little nibble there or what. Did anyone see it? Yep.
No, I don't think it was. Anyway, I'm getting this pulley panel ready, so I'll have to wait. Could be just the waves pulling it down a little bit. Right, Pete. <coughs> yeah. Pull it in in a minute anyway. I think that's enough bait elastic around that, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Who are my hearties? <laughs> I'll give it another another two minutes and then I'll bring it in. Then I'll get a bit of peeler out there. Because obviously there are once those small ones around there's gotta be there's gotta be the mummy and the daddy around somewhere. Actually I'll bring that in now because it looks like there's a little there is something on that. Honestly, they're getting smaller and smaller. I want the big ones, look. Yeah. Nice little, uh, nice little one. Nice, right, gonna get him back.
I'm gonna have to change me uh, batteries in this, I think. Luckily enough, Bob brings up spare batteries! Oh, shooting star, could be a good sign. Could be a good sign that my tent's gonna get absolutely soaking wet. <laughs> Change, just changing batteries over, guys. That yeah, was a king rag. <laughs> Definitely king rag, mate. Still. <coughs> oh, well, the wind's died down a little bit and all, isn't it? So I hope now we've got a bit of Peter on, we might get we might get a bigger one. Well, I did say hopefully, didn't I? Huh. I reckon I'll be alright here. Don't think I'm going to have to move at all. It's going to be very close, but I don't think I'm going to have to move. Yeah, loads, loads of little pups at the moment. That's all so far. Anyway, I've got to go for a quick jimmy, so I'll be back in two, two, two shakes of a cuppa. I'm back. Right, so another bit of grease. <laughs> While I'm waiting for the uh, 42 pound conga reel.
<coughs> Looks like someone's letting fire walks off down the road. Probably down by the little miniature golf course. I was just not getting nothing on Peeler. As soon as I chuck the rag out, I'll catch. Oh, windy alley. Oh. Huh? I know, but just my luck, wasn't it? Catch on rag, but not on Pima. <sighs> so everything's been on rag, rag tonight, so, um, yeah. Nothing, nothing been caught on any, any, anything else. From me, anyway. It's all been rag. Rag, 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 and more rag, 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 rag. No, not really. I've just got to get out and try it. That's all I've got to do. Just got to strap it. Straight. I've just got to put it on my end, strap it, and then that's it. Job done. Nope, I'm not nowhere near there. Someone's fishing up that end. <laughs> you wish, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, Gary.
Don't you just hate it when they spit the hook out? That was a good that was a good take that was. Good take. One thirty. I'll have to watch that back. You feel it on there and then all of a sudden just spat the hook out. Gah! Yeah, it was a slacky. Got a bit of rag straight out there in the sack. It's virtually near enough in the sack the same spot. So uh, we'll see if he comes back. But in the meantime, I'll get this re. re <laughs> I'll get this rebated up with Pedo and get it back out there. Definitely went for it. Yeah, 130. Yeah. There's a good one as well. I actually feel him tagging on there, but he just spat the hook out. A bit gutted on that one. Probably felt like a little smooth down or something. Or half decent sized smooth down. The way that that was going. What a ray. No way was that a ray bike. <coughs> I'll have to watch that bike back again just to see if it was a ray. I don't think it was. More or less like a, like a smooth down bike. Right, Barry. Alright babe, no worries. Be about midnight by the time I get back, alright? 
or just after one of the two. Depends on how the fish play. Oh well, never mind. No. If the fish do start playing ball, then uh, I'll stay a bit longer. If they don't, then I'll just uh, look up and come back. I don't know if you can all see that, but uh, yeah, nice little bass. There we go. Probably just under a pound. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, there you go. Nice little bass. Uh, One thirty-eight. One thirty-eight. I ain't even got a bloody pen and paper with me. Right on the air. Yeah. yeah, you know what? My pen don't even work. Here we go, 138. There you go, 
That's right, the eight bass. Just put that down. Well, we've got a bit of peeler back out there now, so uh, let's see what happens with that, yeah. <laughs> Certainly am getting a species tonight. Dunno, it's a few. I've missed one slack I've missed one slack liner so far. <laughs> well no, what? One, two, three, four. I would have had five so far, but um I'd say I missed that slack liner. So uh yeah, there we go. Back out on peeler. Well, I'll get this rag one ready up and ready to go. I'll tell you what, tonight's been quite pleasant, you know. Steady stream, a bit slow at first, but now a nice. A nice steady stream of fish now. Hopefully. What have I done with my rag? <laughs> I sat on it. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Yeah, a nice little steady stream of fish coming in now. As I say, you know what I mean? It's high tide. Starting to turn now, so hopefully we might see a few more fish. Keep your fingers crossed. No, oh, I'm happy with that. That's, that's a nice little decent bass. Not seen many bass being... Well, obviously I've not seen, you know. It's been a while since I've caught a bass, but... Nice little bass like that, yeah. Probably just probably just under a pound, so. Ugh. What do I do with that rag? Oh, there it is. Does it? Probably your internet connection does. What's the weather like up round your way, wherever it is you are? Because that's probably the, half the problem, mate. It's probably the weather. See, thankfully, I don't have to move. <laughs> I think I just timed that, you know, well, well, I pitched up just right. Yeah, because it's high tide now, the water should start be starting to slowly turn. So hopefully, <coughs> uh, you never know. A couple more fish, and I'll be happy with that. Normally I've got a little pen and paper with me, but... But I forgot it tonight.
Ah, my end's fine. It's probably the weather keeps knocking your signal out, fellas. It's, you know, my stream, my stream only played up once at the beginning, and that was it. Hasn't played up since. So what we had, we've had a stingray, had two small pups, and we've had a bass. So we now we need is a nice, a nice thorny or something, or a nice small eyed, you know, just to just to round it off and finish it off. I'll be happy with that. That would be nice. That would. Yeah, it's probably the weather. <laughs> oh, windy alley again. It's like someone's on the move down the other end for me. Sit here and wait now, aren't we? Probably someone commenting on my status. <laughs> well, Wonder how Trevor's getting on over at Salesy, Salesy Way. Or is it Chichester? Wonder how he's getting on. Probably should have left that bite a little bit, you know, just a, just a little bit, probably a couple of seconds longer on that one I had on Peeler. 
a while ago. I was going to left it. Uh, probably it should have counted to ten, and then 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 got it. And I think I hit it a little bit too soon. But live and learn, as we always do. Cheers, Graham. That's not too bad, hour and 50 minute stream, I had a couple of fish, saves blanking, my usual trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I did find that album rag, that's all right. Fine down here. All right, Gary, mate, no worries. Take it easy. It, you know what I mean? It just goes to show you never know what is out there in that water when you go fishing. Could be anything. Could be absolutely anything. And a two at flapper prevails. <laughs> Besides one worm is on. <laughs> Still can't believe I caught that stingray on the size one worm hook. <laughs> oh, I don't know, eh? That was one fish I really wasn't expecting. I can assure you that. It was a bit of a shock that one. That was, that was a bit of a shocker. Time anyway. 
Oh, and then 11 o'clock. Check that, make sure that battery's still live. If not, we'll have to change it over. And that battery's dead, so I'm going to have to take that one out and plug that one in. Nope, I want that one. Thank you very much. There we go, plug you in the other battery. Out of it. So when you all look like out fishing again next then? Got any plans for this weekend going out? Or is it going to be a bit too uh, rainy and windy and choppy? <laughs> ah. Locks.com, eh? Where's that one? I've forgotten where that one is. Are you actually going to stream that, Kezza, or what? Someone's fishing there now, apparently. It's still there, I think, unless they've gone. Oh, nice one, Colin. I've not done carp fishing for a long time. Sometimes wonder, we you know, whether or not to get myself a little carp rod and just go off carping. But, nah. It's a rod license and all this lot, you know what I mean? It puts me off it now. Because it costs so much money nowadays. Cool, six metre. I don't know much about fishing the Mersey, so I don't know if that's a good tide or not. I presume it is a good tide for a six metre. September the 17th, Somerset. Oh, nice one. Whereabouts in Somerset?
Oh, 9.6. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Beetle counting down the clock. Eight ounce leads. <laughs> uh, ping, um, Simon Merton. Simon Merton might be able to help you out on that, on, on that way. Graham, if you ping. Simon Merton, he should be able to tell you some marks to go to. I don't know much about that end, so um, I can't give you any marks or anything like that. Right, Darren. Yes, mate. Bass. Couple of little pups and a stingray. I can honestly say a stingray. <laughs> I can say it because I've got one. <laughs> oh bless. But that was before the stream, so it was not on stream. Get some more rag out in a minute because I want to use this this uh, last bit of rag up before I start heading out. Not much rag here left. Uh, Simon Merton. It's one of the admin. Or Dave Eden, he might be able to help out a little bit on that side. One of them two might be able to help out. Hey, that, wind, that wind's dropped right down. Does that wind drop right down? Certainly has dropped right down. Uh, there you go, Dave Eden. There you go. <coughs> right, let's get a bit of rag out there. Back in a minute.
looks like I've just gained a couple of weights on this. I've got someone else's, someone else's line tangled up in there. See what we got at the end of it, I suppose, eh? Right, that's mine. I've got to pull this line in, lads, so it won't be a minute. Oh. I've just gained a nice weight. Looks brand new to me, to be honest. Uh, looks brand new. I've just pulled that in. That <laughs> only looks a couple of hours old, doesn't it? Complete rig setup. Look at the mess. Look at it all that. There you go, look. Lovely. Straight into a carrier there. Obviously they've had a line snap. No, I've not lost any of them leads yet, mate. All good. <laughs> so it's all good, 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 good. <laughs> Yeah. 
But now I uh, them lads all right there. The tail is absolutely perfect for me. The only thing I had to do, Daz, was uh, just uh, trim up the wire a little bit. That's all I had to do to them. <laughs> but now they're working all right. That's <laughs> what I'm using now. what I caught the stingray on, on, on that rig, with your weight on. Bucky, bucky, bucky! That all got covered in weed, that, uh, that bit of peter, so is it really worth putting out another chunk? Is it going to get masked by seaweed again? <laughs> yeah, is it worth putting another chunk of another chunk of peeler on? Okay, what I'll do, I will, I will put on another chunk of peeler. And then that'll be the last cast then. Because if me uh, if my bait's gonna get if my bait's gonna get muddled in uh, seaweed, you know what I mean? It's pointless hanging around, you know. <laughs> what sing, Dave? You you want me to sing? <laughs> Bless you. Uh. <coughs> <laughs> I believe in miracles. Scissors gone. Oh dear.
Hey, I'm not as bad as Piers Brosnan. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> Here I go again. Mama, how can I resist you? <laughs> Start packing some of this crap away. Oh. Yeah, about another two minutes, and I'll bring this one in. And then I'll chuck out the last bit of. Well, it's not the last bit of peeler. Bloody loads. Me, I got loads of peeler. Well, I was going to stick out a bit of squid and I didn't even chuck out any squid at the moment. I think I might save it to be honest. Still half frozen, so well, I should only be here about another 20 minutes now, anyway. So, as soon as I bring this rag in, it'll be 20 minutes, and then uh, that'll be it. I'll be heading home. Oh, god, yeah, it's 25 past 11. Anyways, go and bring this one in. Seaweed time.
don't know what's going on there. Looks like my head torch has run out. Well, not my head torch. Tripod torch has run out, guys. I'll keep you updated, so... Uh... I had it on max. Didn't even realise I had it on max. Give me a second, I'll try and sort something out for you lot. Do it that way then. There you go, guys. Well, that's the last cast, guys. So, um, be about another 15 minutes, and then that's it. I should be heading home. Get home, get in the warm. Put the mates in there so I know where they are. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I can't believe my tripod torch went out. That was fully charged up as well. Should have lasted a lot longer than that, I'll tell you. Well, funny thing, I might need a new one. Might need a little new travel battery or something. <laughs> now nah, we all gotta go home, mate. <laughs>
that tide's pulling as well and I've got a funny feeling uh, you know what I mean it's uh, the seaweed's going to mask <coughs> <coughs> oh jeez just got a funny feeling that the seaweed's going to mask me uh, bait now because I just pulled in a bit of, a nice big lump of seaweed which smothered my bait so Ready to put that away. Twenty two, I'll stop. Don't know if you all saw that lightning there then. That was over towards uh, Hailing Way. Good rumble of thunder. No, I'll move you over that way a little bit so you can still see the rod. If I point you over to that direction, you might be able to see some lightning. <clears throat> Not promising anything, but you know, you never know. Put it over that way a little bit more. There you go. See that one, guys?
Unplug that one for now. <coughs> Unplug that one. Obviously you can't see no time there lightning, so I'm gonna move you back over this way a little bit. Well I'm gonna stop taking my shower down I think. <coughs> well anyway that's it. Anyway. This is also <coughs> oh, just as I thought it was all masked. Perfect. Right guys, that's it. I'm uh, going to start packing up now and start heading home. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to have had a little ray tonight. Well, I've had a little stingray tonight, but I'd like to have a, another little lunge or something. But sadly, that wasn't meant to be. <coughs> so, um, 
Yeah, there we go. What do we catch? A couple of small pups. An half decent size, half decent bass. Well, half decent bass. It's only about just under a pound or just over a pound. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. But all in all, <laughs> it was a good night. I'm absolutely over the moon with my stingray. Obviously, I didn't get it on stream. Um, one of them things. But you know what? I will catch a stingray on stream. Might not be this year. It might be next year. But anyway, I'm going to have a quick pack up very sharp is because I don't know which way this lightning storm's coming. I don't know if it's coming towards me or it's going away from me. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to a two minute pack up my gear and that's it, I'm off. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. I don't know when I'm out again next, so uh, keep your ears and eyes posted and I'll soon, soon let you know. Anyway, I'm off. Ciao, ciao for now.